I wouldn't be here without Dr. Duke. He cured my back. He cured my pain. He cured my life. Um, I can't imagine not doing the surgery. I can't imagine going back. I wouldn't. Two months before, one week ago, I herniated my disc uh, after moving a king-size mattress, which, which is very heavy and I wouldn't do it by myself in the future, and then driving from California to Oregon for work uh, for eight hours. And I herniated it while I was driving. I could feel the pain move down my leg and settle in my foot. And it was the most enervating, uncomfortable, unpleasant experience I've ever had in my life. Um, and I do not wish to repeat it. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Um, for the four months leading up to that point, I was in a great deal of pain, um, getting harder and harder to walk. Um, I couldn't sit down. I couldn't, at the end, before, right before I herniated the disc, I couldn't sit, stand, lie down. There was no position that was comfortable for me. And I'm a dentist. Uh, I couldn't work 100%. I couldn't work 50%. And that just, it ruined my life. Um, the two months, the last two months before the surgery, I laid on the floor was the only position that I was in if I wasn't working. We have four day weekends, three day weekends. I was lying on the floor the whole time. Uh, I would go to work, come home, lie down on the floor and just pray that the pain would uh, you know, go away a little bit. The pain that I was in before the disc actually herniated was a deep aching pain in my leg. I couldn't straighten my leg, I couldn't walk with a foot with an appropriate swing of my leg. Every time I swung my leg out, I would have a feel of really deep, intense pain in my back, so it just caused me to limp everywhere. Um, when I herniated the disc, I felt sharp needles just go down the side of my leg, down my uh, calf, into my foot. Uh, luckily, I didn't feel sharp pain after that. I felt like my leg muscles were always way more sore than I've ever felt in my life. Um, deep back pain, aching, uh, pulsing, not, I was lucky, it was never sharp, but I, it was so debilitating when I sat in my car, um, put pressure on my hamstring, which caused pressure in my back, and it pulled on my nerve, and it was, I, I, would, I would almost be at the point of crying in my car, um, screaming at nobody, just to let the aggression out, you know, the, the, the frustration, and I couldn't see an end in sight, I didn't know that I had a herniated disc, and I'm a, I'm a doctor, I didn't even think about it. I didn't, I thought I had a muscle problem. You know, I had a pain on a scale of one to 10. I would jokingly, you know, say 100, uh, and I meant it. You know, a scale of one to 10 used to be, a, 10 used to be a broken finger, you know? That, that's painful, but this was, you know, made a broken finger look like a two. I did see a chiropractor three times in Sacramento before I moved up to Oregon, and she helped me out, but the pain always kept coming back. It, it got better, and then it got worse. Um, after a few adjustments, when I had moved to Oregon and herniated the disc, and I was in worse, way worse condition, she suggested that I get an image taken. So I went and I had an MRI done. Huge herniation. I could see it even on the MRI when I when I looked uh, the first time. And the doctor there told me that I needed surgery. Um, he suggested and told me about a procedure that could be done there. I researched myself online, being a doctor. I want to find out what I'm getting into first. And I was impressed and in curious about the Duke Spine Institute because nobody else offers uh, such a conservative or even anything even remotely close to this type of surgery. So I came out to Florida and I met with Dr. Duke Majin at the Duke Spine Institute and he impressed me and I can't tell you uh, how great that meeting was and uh, what it led to. Uh, when I got to the Vieira Clinic, the Duke Spine Institute and the Vieira Clinic. Um, just walk in, looks like a normal office, you know, any office that you go into, but you're greeted by um, a woman who knows your name, who knows who you are. Uh, I was greeted by staff when I walked through the halls that I had spoken with previously, that I was, that I had become intimate with. Um, and you, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll know who these people are. Uh, they know you because they've talked about you before, they know that you're coming in that day, they know who you are, what your problem is, and they're very receptive to everything, you know, every... I was in the most pain that when I came in, and they were extremely helpful, extremely courteous. It's great. Oh, I feel awesome. I feel like a new man. That's awesome. Good. That's nice to hear. Good. Um, I saw Dr. Duke again, and, you know, he was ready to go. He was ready to rock and roll, and it was very easy. 
I stayed here for a little while and they took me in and prepped me before I was even scheduled. Um, and uh, it was a walk to the park after that. I had the procedure done last week, passed out while they were prepping me. I don't remember a thing. I woke up. The last thing I remember is waking up. And uh, I could immediately tell there was no pain in my leg. There was no pain in my back. Um, just the fact that I had to think about if it was there or not was an indicator as to how in how immediate it was because I didn't have to think about the pain. It was always there. Um, Dr. Duke Majin told me that on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst herniation he's ever seen in his career, mine was an 8. So it was just immediate and drastic. Walked out of the office, didn't have to take a nap, I wasn't tired, I was very awake, aware, I went to lunch, had a normal day, woke up the next day, was on the go from the morning, and the people that I was staying with couldn't believe that I, ha I wasn't tired, I wasn't achy, I wasn't sore. Um, I was just normal again, you know? And it felt great. You had a lot of back pain and pain shooting down your left leg, mm -hmm. sciatica. Mm -hmm. That's right. How's that uh, doing? It's great. Gone. Gone, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Wonderful. So uh, you've been able to walk around for the last week and mm -hmm. do things? Yeah, starting right after the surgery, Dr. Duke. Uh -huh. It was great. Good. And have you started driving? Yeah, I've been driving up to half an hour and 45 minutes. Great, yeah. great. So uh, when did you start driving? The day after. The day after surgery. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. And uh, obviously you didn't go to the hospital, so it's nice not having to go to the hospital, right. having a done outpatient in a surgery center. Yeah. Absolutely. Any back pain? A little bit of soreness, but that's it. Uh, where we nothing. did the surgery? Yeah, yeah, exactly where we did the surgery. Good. Nothing compared to what it was before. And that'll go away in time. That's just the muscles irritated from where we put the uh, endoscope in to get down to the spine. So they're a little bit inflamed, and the inflammation usually takes a week or two to go away. Okay. Very good. Can deal with that. It's easy. And how's your strength in your leg? It's great. It's good. So uh, no weakness at all? Mm -hmm. No numbness? Nope. No, I feel like I walk just perfect. Wonderful. Your incision looks great. There's no redness. There's no evidence of infection. There's no swelling. These Steri strips, uh, this is a week now. We can actually take them off. So I'll go ahead and, and get them off now. And there it is. Looks good. I'll put a little bandage on there. I'm sitting here right now in zero pain and able to move properly. I'm not scared of moving. I'm not scared of lifting my leg and putting it, you know, to, to set the parking brake. I'm not scared of getting out of my car. Thinking about other things again, you know. Uh, I'm not thinking about wow, the pain. It's not uh, always there again. Um, I'm able to focus on stuff and, you know, do, do things again, you know, like normal. And I've been to uh, see the beautiful beach in Florida. I've been to Cocoa Beach, which is, which is a nice little village, and I was able to walk around for half an hour or more. Um, three days after my surgery. Uh, I can't stress enough how beautiful and important and life-changing this was for me. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would fly across the world. Um, if I have to come back for any reason, I know that I'm in good hands and I would recommend Dr. Duke Majin to any and everyone. And in fact, I've already recommended a friend to come here uh, because the pain that he's in mirrored my own. and. When we talked about it, it was like uh, two brothers catching up over, you know, years of, of uh, absence. And he was so impressed by what happened to me that he decided to contact uh, the Duke Spine Institute. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter how far you have to travel, it doesn't matter what language you speak, pain is universal and Dr. Duke Majin can help you get out of it. I would recommend this surgery to anyone whose quality of life is diminished, even slightly, because it's going to get worse if you don't take care of it. Um, and if you're in an immense amount of pain, if it's affecting your life like it was affecting mine, just do it. Uh, I can't stress enough, hindsight is 2020, but but I'm telling you now, it, it's so much more worth it than you could ever imagine. And I, and I still say, you know, what, what, pain am, what pain am I in today? Zero. You know, negative five, you know, if I can, if I can have it that way. Uh, it, it's it's a total role reversal. I feel uh, aware again. I feel like I'm back to my not even old self. I'm a new person.